What's up traders? This is V Trace and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for NIO with the ticker symbol NIO. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So NIO, the last time we looked at NIO was last week Wednesday and you can see that Wednesday uh, price closed right around the $11.36 level. Uh, what, Thursday, I'm pretty sure a lot of the pumpers uh, and a lot of the bullish people were expecting, you know, uh, price to continue higher. Uh, after they saw this like uh, continuation of upside, obviously it turned bearish, and then we reached the ten dollar and fifty cents level that I was saying back over here at the fifteen dollar and eighty six cents level. So we did reach the target. Uh, that's where I had the circle right here. I can go ahead and remove that now since the target is met, and we did see a breakout of this channel and a new low. Uh, so you see that this red big this red bar on Thursday was outside of this channel, and then we made a new low. So that shows signs of weakness in this downtrend, even though it's still a fairly strong downtrend. Uh, so what do I expect for Neo? I expect you know continuation to the upside. It looks like there's a little gap that could be filled, and uh, maybe we can see a pullback to the EMA because we're definitely overextended. This is a very sharp move down. We're gonna see uh, the price trade sideways or pull back. I'm not expecting price to continue lower in the same fashion it did already. I'm just expecting the market to take a break. This is a very sharp move down. The market needs to just uh, digest this move down, take a break. Uh, so it can do that in the form of trading sideways or trading up. Uh, so we'll see what is going to occur. But if we do trade up, uh, I'm not sure if NEO is ready to reverse uh, as of right now. It can still see another drop down lower. And I'll go over the reasons why. So there's a lot of things on this chart. I'm going to clean up the chart so I can move this green channel. It's not really doing much. I can move this yellow one. I can move this. I'll keep that horizontal line that we're, uh, we're staying at right now. I'll remove this $9.59 level. I'll move the green channel. And I'll go ahead and move the orange one. So those aren't really you know helping that much. And let's put a really large... Uh, range on here because that, that's what it looks like price is doing so it looks like we're finding resistance resistance at the 13 uh 27 cents level and we're finding some type of support right around the seven dollar and 33 cents level so it looks like we're in this really large range uh because you see that we had these large moves up and down and it's not really going anywhere we're at, we're at the same price level as you know november of last year uh december of last year even january of this year so this is basically looking like a range to me and since we uh, came back in the $13.22 level, right over here, we did not find any support, we just pushed right through it. This is still another chance to see another leg down just as large as uh, we just had, because the market generally moves in twos. So depending on, type of, depending on what type of pullback we get, it will tell me if we're gonna see another drop down lower, or we're not gonna get that drop down lower and we're just gonna go higher. But as right now, it's looking like it's setting up to see another drop down lower, and I'll go over the reasons why. Uh, so we had a very sharp move down. Price is overextended, so there's a good chance we see a pullback. We could go back all the way up to retest the $13.21 level. So if it does it, if it retests that level in this type of fashion right over here, then that's a good chance for another leg down. So something like that can occur. Uh, however, if the impulse or the counter trend move uh, for this downtrend is strong, something like this, then obviously, you know, I'm we're going to probably find support above that $13 level and continue trending up higher. So depending on what type of reaction we get over here, will tell me if we're going to go lower or not. We might not even pull back all the way up to the $13.20 level. We might just pull back like this. There's still a good chance for going, prices going lower. Uh, so this looks like a very macro range pattern to me. Uh, we have a micro downtrend in play. It is uh, played out because we had a break in a new low. But as more time develops, we, uh, this is technically not a break in a new low. So this is, if you just adjust the channel slightly, this still looks like one large leg down. So on a higher time frame, this is one large leg down. So after a break of a channel, what do you expect? A retest of the low. Just like what we got uh, recently, uh, like this. However, like I said before, on a higher time frame, that's just still one leg down. So Neil still bearish uh, as right now. Uh, I would say not like this second, meaning like we can still pull back. But I mean, overall, this is not a strong looking uh, uptrend structure or like a reversal structure, in my opinion. This is not looking that strong. Uh, I would see, I would want to see Neo get back above this $13.19 level, $13.30 level uh, to me, t for me to be very bullish on it. If we can get if we can do some, some type of pattern like this, that's extremely bullish. And Neo probably has bottom. But since we broke above that level and we failed to stay above it and we came back all the way down to the starting point of this entire up move at the $10.50 level. That's not a good sign. 
So depending on what type of reaction we get over here, will tell me if we're gonna go low or not. And it looks like earnings report is also coming up. So that will probably lead to a nice move uh, up or down depending on where price is. So it looks like next week's Tuesday before market open. So if the price is back over here, there's a good chance it'll probably drop down lower. That's just more likely to occur. But if we just stick around, you know, this 10, $11 level, we might see earnings pop up price just to trap, you know, people thinking we have bottom and then obviously, you know, sell the, buy the news, sell the rumor, whatever it is, um, you know, we're probably going to drop down lower. So you can see that Neo is still um, kind of bearish. So let's take a look at the weekly chart now. So here's the weekly chart. You can see that we have two massive red bars uh, that occurred last uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're finding a little bit of support at the EMA and the mid ten dollar level because it was the prior breakout point. The type of pullback we get from here will tell me if we're going to go lower or not. Right now, it's setting up to go lower, uh, but again, nothing's guaranteed in the market. It can do something like this, and then traders are going to be looking for longs instead of right now looking for shorts. So it just depends on what type of pullback we get at the end of the day. So that's all I have for NEO. Uh, it is promising long term that this looks like a bottom, but again, it's not guaranteed. If we just start trending down lower, then obviously this was not a bottom, and we have to you know wait longer or look at some other structure, uh, wait for some other structure to develop to tell us it's going to go up or not. Uh, but this did look like it was going to be a potential bottom, but I didn't like how Neo got back below the $13 level. Uh, it needs to get back above it for me to be uh, really bullish on it once again. So that's all I have for Neo this week, Monday, and I'll give you guys an update on Wednesday. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.